My project is about the repeat autos in Vado. My title is Pixel in Vado. Pixel in Vado. I chose him because he does a lot of pixelated stuff. So I use little tiles on the outside to pixelate the border and imitate the style. Let me tell you all about him. I don't know how I don't have a lot of information about him because if you're a graffiti artist, you get in a lot of trouble if you get caught. So my information is Frank Salama, also known as Invader, was born in 1969, France, Paris. He graduated from a school that is way too hard for me to pronounce because it's in French, and he graduated with a master's degree. Let me tell you a little bit more about Invader. After trying painting, drawing, film, and several other things with computers, he chose mosaics as his medium. As a child, he played he played Space Invaders for several hours, which he got his name from. He creates characters with tiles, which he sticks everywhere. He also sc scans QR codes and stacks of Rubik's cubes. He works during the he works at night to avoid being seen. But if he works in the day, he dresses up as somebody who who would go unnoticed, like a construction worker. Here are some my of my favorite pictures of his artwork. A dragon thinking of Space Invaders, Bugs Bunny, Mario, and Space Invaders. It just so happens that all of them were done in the same pa place, Paris. It has invaded cities all over the world from below sea level and 2,362 meters above ground, the Eiffel Tower, the Hollywood sign, the Great Wall of China. His work is endless. Invader impacts society by, uh, by decorating the concrete jungles of the cities. He wants to make people smile and spread positivity. He wants to add to the cities, not take from it or destroy it. I chose an invader because I personally love to play pixelated games. I play with my uncle, my dad and my brother. Bob Bunny is my favorite art piece that he did because He's my favorite character from Looney Tunes. I hope you enjoyed my biography about my about Invader.